Let's take a look at example six. Noah and Kim are planning to attend a state fair. They will pay $5 to park the car and $2.50 per event ticket. What is the range of number of event tickets that they can purchase if they cannot spend more than $36 at the fair? Okay, so Noah and Kim, maybe their parents have only given them $36. They have to plan $5 for parking and then $2.50 for each ticket that they need to purchase. Well, the range of the number of tickets, that means how many tickets can they purchase? That's basically what it means. Okay, so first we're going to define our variable. Let n equal the number of event tickets. Okay, because that's how, what we're trying to find, the range of the number of event tickets. Okay, now, we know they have to spend $5 for parking, $2.50 for each ticket, and then times N, because we don't know how many tickets, okay? N is going to represent the number of tickets. But that has to be less than or equal to 36, okay? No more than 36, so now we can solve for n, okay? Just like you would with any of the other equations. You're gonna subtract five from both sides so that we can move this over and then have this variable by itself. 2.5n now is less than or equal to 36 minus five. And we get 31. So now we can solve for n and we can, um, Divide by 2.5, n is going to be less than or equal to 12.4. Now, we can't buy 0.4 tickets, right? There's no decimal tickets or fraction of a ticket. <laughs> so, um, it's got to be less than or equal to 12.4. So, since the number of tickets sold must be a whole number, they can purchase up to 12 tickets.